time to talk about mother flippin' almonds. Yeah, this might blow your mind if you don't know too much about fruit, but almonds are actually part of a fruit. They are actually the seed of the almond fruit. And if you, uh, I'm sure you've all had this before, and you've seen this before, and uh, you probably have seen this as well. This is the almond with the shell, which you can pretty easily find at most markets. But if you take a close look at this, you may notice it looks kind of familiar. It looks a little bit like a, uh, a peach pit or an apricot pit. That's because this is actually the, the pit or the stone of the almond fruit. Almonds are a little bit different though because like when almonds get mature, they actually split open and this pops out. It's not like an apricot or a peach that when it matures you could eat the flesh. This is not really um, a fruit that when it's mature there is any like flesh that you can really eat. There's not much there, but you can actually eat it underripe. This is an unripe almond fruit. It was picked green, and if you were to let this mature, it would get like a little bit bigger, and then the uh, the fruit would actually split at the seam here, exposing uh, the stone inside. But this is picked early, and you can actually eat this just as it is with the uh, with the the hull, the outer the outer hull, and everything. If it matures a little bit more, then you know it turns into this sort of um, this hard material and you won't be able to want to eat through this but if you get it early then it's fine if you look on the outside you see it's actually quite fuzzy it's just like how an apricot is if anything it's maybe a little bit fuzzier and people actually can eat this just as it is you can eat it with the fuzzy outside the stone the pit, everything. Like right now, it's actually soft, but if you give it a little bit more time, then it's going to get, you know, one of these. It's going to get hard on the inside. But uh, in some countries, they will actually eat it just as it is, or they will um, put salt on it. Like in the Middle East, they'll pick these early, and it's like a popular street snack. To, like take this and just put a little bit of like sea salt on it, and you eat it, and it's supposed to be really nice. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to try this. I actually got this here in New York City at a um, at a gourmet market here, but uh, it's really hard to find these, especially here in the U.S., mostly because green almonds, they don't last very long. So once you pick them, you only have a few days. You can put them in the fridge, and it's supposed to, like, extend their life, like, a little bit, but once you get, the, once you get these, you kind of have to eat them quick. All right, so let me uh, give it a try. Ah, it's fuzzy. See, the fact that it's fuzzy on the outside is a little... It's, it's kind of weirded me out. It's like eating like... Uh, it's like eating like a piece of cloth. I'm gonna try not to like put my... I'm just gonna use my teeth. Okay. Once you bite into it, you don't notice it as much. And if you look... On the inside, you see like there's all the, the outer fruit right here, and the the almond on the inside, like what we would eat normally with a like, dried almond, is actually like wet. It's like jelly-like. Look at that. You can actually like squeeze the gel out. That is that is the immature almond uh, seed. This isn't bad. It's actually really nice. It, um... Hmm. It's got, like, a strong green flavor, as you would imagine. Um, it reminds me a lot like eating, like, a green bean. I don't really like green beans, but it's got, like, um, something, like, similar to that. It's got like more of a vegetable kind of flavor than a fruit flavor, but it definitely has like the sweetness that a green bean would have. And it has like kind of like a similar like green flavor that a green bean would have. But there's maybe like a little bit more of a sour taste to it. 
maybe a little bit like a green apple. It's kind of like you took like green apples and green beans and you kind of mix them together. Uh, how this is normally eaten, as I said, in the Middle East is they put salt on it. So I'm gonna actually try that. I just covered it with some salt there. Let's see if that uh, improves the taste. Hmm. It's nice. This would be... I'm not sure if I prefer it with or without the salt. The salt does give it like a, a different kind of flavor. This is the sort of fruit that if you were to like treat it the way that people treat unripe fruit in Southeast Asia, like put chili powder or plum powder on it, use like condiments with it, uh, it would work really well with that. The texture is pretty nice, it's like crunchy. And the inside is very soft with the jelly-like um, nut inside. So I like it with the salt, um, but honestly, I think it's not really an improvement to it. The flavor is pretty much the same. It just gives like an extra kind of like kick to it. It's more of like a salty snack instead of like a, like a sweet snack. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this open and just get the nut out. And uh, this is... Uh, how a lot of people will actually eat these. They won't eat the green on the outside. They'll just trim, uh, or they'll cut out the uh, the seed and just eat the seed in its unripe form. So there it is. You can already see it's like very white. It's not, uh, it's quite a lot of difference compared to a, a mature almond. And when you squeeze it between your fingers, it gives. It's very soft. If you cut it open, it should be like that, kind of like jelly-like interior. Yeah, look at that. Not your typical almond, for sure. And the flavor... Hmm. There's not much flavor to it, but the immediate thing that's noticeable with it is the texture. It's like very soft, and when you bite into it, it just kind of explodes with um, that like liquid on the inside. Kind of like how like a it's like a little bit like eating like pomegranate seed or like maybe like a grape or something. I wouldn't pick this up if you want like a very strong tasting fruit. I can see why people put salt on it, just to like make that flavor pop a little bit more. But there's just something nice about it. So all in all, I like these. These are really good. I would say um, if you like things like edamame, pick these up, because it kind of has like a similar feel to that. I would get these, I would put like some salt and oil on it maybe, and just eat them, you know, as like an appetizer. I think that would be like really nice. Uh, they're refreshing, they've got like a nice texture to it, like a nice crunch and a nice like little pop in the middle. Uh, yeah, all together, very good. I'm definitely gonna pick these up again. Hey guys, don't click out on the window just yet, okay? Listen to me for one second. I just want to take a quick moment and tell you about my Patreon page that I just started. This is a way for fans of my series to help contribute and make my show even greater and to expand on content, get new videos, and give you some cool bonuses and rewards. So if you have a moment, just click on this video right here, click on me, and it'll be it'll take you to my Patreon page where you can learn more. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye bye. I, I made this video too long. Um yeah, you can, if you don't want to go to the Patreon page, it's okay. Um, you can also click on one of these fruit videos. There's, there's one over here, you can go to the, the next episode, and you can go down over here to go to the last week's episode. And
Oh yeah, sub subscribe. Subscribing is, is helpful and um, like it. Like it's good. Li liking it is good. Um, and leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. You know, tell me what you think. If you liked it, you hated it. Yeah. Um, okay, that's it. Bye bye.